Carro. Hello, my Aquarian friends. It's Guiding Halo. I hope you're all doing well. Let's find out what's coming in for you guys for the full moon. So this is your energy of, it's like you've been waiting for something to happen, perhaps. Uh, feel like you're floating. There's been no uh, sure decisions in things. Trying to figure out which way to go next, but allowing spirit to bring that in for you. We have the card, Be Playful. This is sandpaper spirit so enjoy the moments bring joy to situations be playful get out and have some fun people might say well if you're in a cold climate <laughs> they might say it's too cold to go out and have fun have a hard night have something do something fun enjoy yourselves how about uh if you're in a hot climate perhaps have a card night inside if it's too hot to go out Invite your friends over, you know, get a little loose, fun, excited about life in general. Got to get a move on things. It's springtime close to approaching. I think a lot of us have been coasting. A lot of us have been this and that. Perhaps coming out of a time of solitude, you know, in order to, I don't know, get a move on in some sort of way. Power. This is not surprising. This card comes out for you a lot. It's like there's something electric about your guys' airy energy. It's like a... a yeah, I'm sorry, the cat's meow in just a sec. It's something like a like a storm a brewing. It's like you've always got some sort of electrical energy about you or some sort of uh, power that you need to harness or something. I wonder if <laughs> this time it's almost like you're going to be the storm. It's like embracing your power being playful, being creative, all of that sort of stuff. Perhaps you've been going through a time in your life that's felt like an absolute storm. The divine wants you to get into a spirit of gratitude, lotus flower blooming. It's like perhaps in the morning while you're having a cup of tea or something, you know, sit there and just think of the reasons that you have to be grateful for, day, for today. There is something incredibly spiritual going on here at a deep level for you Aquarius people. Um, it's, it's like bringing balance to the power that you have. Perhaps you've you've put power out there or you've, you, you've used your power in certain ways and, and you've wondered why it's not necessarily come, you know, back to you in the way that you'd hoped. Well, the divine's bringing some sort of balance to the way that you use power. There's going to be reasons around this full moon for you to be incredibly grateful. I can tell you that much. And I would say it's probably from practicing gratitude. Look at that, shining through. Something about you and what you've manifested is going to be shining through. It's going to bring beautiful, beautiful. There's a new start here. There's a new start. Why? Because I'm adding up numbers and I've got a, a 10. which all of it equals a seven. The whole thing equals a seven, which is an incredibly spiritual journey. So there's something in you and about you and how you've been doing things that's about to manifest in an incredibly different way. And you're going to start to see how powerful you have been all along. That's what I'm getting with this. It's like a, I don't know what it's like. It's like there's some sort of what would normally, what would normally maybe upset you, what would normally make you want to stomp your feet, what would normally do something in a negative way, you've come to embrace these things happening in your life so that you can actually uh, utilize them in, as a propelling mechanism forward as opposed to having them bring you down, having them, you know, sit you in a path that makes you feel anything less than what you need to and, and being joyful. And it makes you feel like you're not, what, worthy? Yeah. The divine is going to give you guys reason here. I would say in a time frame of 10 days, well, maybe two weeks after the full moon, so till the next new moon, yeah, beginning of April, they are going to really start to feel worthy. Worthy of spirit's grace. Worthy of spirit's gratitude. Worthy of your gratitude. I think it's going to be like a beautiful blossoming. 
a beautiful shining through. Things are going to come happen for you and to you that perhaps you just never at all expected. Starting to feel worthy, starting to feel like there's hope. I'm going to move this big rock. It's just not going to work for me there. Starting to feel like there's hope. Many different things like that. So let's find out from the tarot a little bit more about this. Being playful. What area of life or what does the divine have to say about you being playful? My Aquarian friends. What does the divine have to say about you being playful? Sandpiper spirit. It's like, woohoo, let's just go, go about life, let's enjoy unable and willing to make a decision. So that tells me in order for you to make that said decision, you've got to get into joy. You've got to get playful. The divine can work fast when you're having fun, my friends. Whoa, holy. Okay, so we have power. As you can see, the cards just went flying every place. It's not be shuffling much. All right, some people feel that's energetic and perhaps you've been all over the place. Perhaps you've been not knowing exactly how to use your power. I wonder if there's something that you've started to realize too in somebody else's power, that uh, how powerful they actually are. How powerful they actually are. Seven of Pentacles. There's been a time of pause, looking at where you want to invest your energy, trying to decide which way to move forward. The Divine says you can stay in your head all you want, but unless you get playful, you're never going to have the moments that come forward that help make you feel worthy, you see. So get playful, get into joy. Let's see what happens with this power, looking at where you want to invest your power, where you want to invest moving forward. There's something about thinking that perhaps you haven't done something right. Perhaps you've not this, perhaps you've not that. But there, there comes a certain thing called trust. We all have to trust to a certain extent. The Four of Pentacles, Spirit of Gratitude. Someone here has been very concerned about finances and holding on to money very tightly. Yet again, looking at where you want to invest. I'd say there's great fear surrounding money or there's fear that money may be smaller than usual. Perhaps there's been job change, thinking about having a job change. And if that's the case, you're wondering if you have the power to move forward. Will I have reasons with this tiny amount of money I have to be grateful? Will I have reason to be grateful? The divine says you are worthy of doing what feels good. You are worthy of having what it is you desire. Maybe that's the issue. I don't know what I desire, Halo. Halo, I don't know what I desire. I don't know how to do it. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know anything. I'm just one foot in front of the other. All y'all need a mountain to land on. Just saying. You need a mountain to land on. You need something big to come along and be that wall with a ledge that you can land on and feel protected and feel secure in some sort of way. I wonder where Virgo is in all your charts. Have a look because this full moon is happening in Virgo. So wherever that is in your chart, I'm pretty sure that will, you know, be, be a big deal. Nine of Swords, not sure exactly how to bring yourself to a point of shining through. How do I bring this shining through? How do I allow how do I open, that's it, how do I open up to allow the beauty that is the divine, uh, what is my purpose, what is my soul mission, I don't even know. So, there's great power within, it's like harnessing the power of the seven stars in the Palladian energy, some of you very well could re uh, relate to Palladian energy. Trying to find and make up some sort of mind decision, Nine of Swords energy is like a uh, not knowing how to do it, processing it at night, wondering when things are going to happen for you to a certain extent. And then, you know, you when, when you're in this energy of at night doing this type of thing, it creates a, a tiredness during the day. There's some sort of thing that that you feel is stopping you up. And the, if, the thing about the energy right now is that it's about doing whatever you can to get grounded. Get grounded. It's like we're in a flow time right now. And really, it's like the in-between. And Pisces energy is very much about being in the flow and going with the flow and trusting the flow that the divine is, you know, bringing you towards or whichever. Let's get a postcard from Spirit to wrap this up. What's the message from spirit for my Aquarian friends? The message from spirit for my Aquarian friends. 
at the full moon. Dearest you, isn't it amazing how things seem to come around again, full circle, in ways you could not possibly have planned? You wonder how a dream could die, only to be resurrected years later when you're really ready. You thought it was time back then, but your wisdom knows better than your small self, whose desires are unmet. Now, here you are with a new opportunity to do things from a different, more mature perspective. We want you to trust that in this new opportunity for rebirth, you will be called in two directions, hence the decision. And the one that is unfamiliar will be the right one. In the unknown spaces, the uncharted places of infinite potential, we are waiting to guide you into your fullest life. Big bounty will come if you remain in the present. You have come full circle, and now you can see that everything changes, is made new, and given new hope. Wow. This is beautiful. It's like all of the things you've been worried about, waiting for, the the lack of stability, perhaps. How, how do you harness your power? How do I actually become worthy? How do I feel worthy in my life? It's like it's some sort of energy of no one loves me, no one cares, no one this, no one that. And the divine is saying, it just wasn't time. There's some, there's a huge benefit if you look at life and understand that divine timing is so important. It's so, so important. We say that, well, we, the small self, right? We want things the way we want them. We want them and we want them now. But there's understanding of the time it takes to grow something, the time it takes to move through things, the time it takes to do whatever behind the scenes that the divine is doing to bring beautiful things your way so that you can have a life where you feel worthy. Perhaps there's something big in you in awe, in a miracle type of way that is going to happen for you. In fact, that's what I'm feeling. And it's going to help show you how you are worthy. It's like, why? Why did I get there? Why? Who? I don't know why they love me like this. I don't know why the, all this money is here all of a sudden. I've been waiting for this to happen. I've been this, all these readings I listen to and blah, blah, blah. Well, guess what? Divine says you're worthy. It's been a time just to wait, to pause. That's what this has been about for you. I love you guys. I hope it resonates. Have a beautiful full moon.